gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat Good evening everybody and welcome to my channel, my YouTube channel that is Deb Chanel for this world. Thank you for your support in the past, present, and the future. Continue to like, share, and subscribe my videos or subscribe to my video channel, okay? Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll know when all new videos are being uploaded and you can be the first to come over and look at my video and definitely like and share my video okay but let's get on into this video uh we're going to be talking about lunel the comedian and the uh fallout she had with real housewives of atlanta nene leaks now of course this was done on november the 1st i just uh I don't know what I did with it. I was just playing on my phone and the um I guess I put it on my save or I archived it or whatever and I failed to uh record it or make a video on it sometime before because I tell you the real housewives of Atlanta women just keep me busy. And then I archive some stuff that I want to come back and probably look at again and probably do a story and I don't know what happened, but I'm gonna do it today because I was like, What? Nene fussing with an OG, an older person that's older than she is. Oh, my goodness. Now, you know Nene finna get towed down. And the one that I saw, she was messing with. Oh, she here for it. Lunel, she's a comedian, been on that road, been telling jokes probably since she was born. Okay? She, Nene trying to act like Wanda Smith. She's originated from Florida. I think Miami, Florida, I think. And she moved down here. Had a, a long-term stink at B103. I don't know if y'all know her, but, you know, she was with Frank Ski in the morning show. Wanda Smith is who I'm referring to. You know, uh, she was doing some interviews, and, you know, she was just a mess anyway on B103, uh, not letting people finish their sentence, talking over them, you know, just doing too much brash type of uh, banter when they invite guests to come on the show behind her. She had her match where she had Cat Williams come up over there and tear her from the floor up, from the top of her feet to the sole of her shoes. I mean, to the top of her head to the sole of her shoes, honey. He told into her, and she, I mean, she shouldn't even try to, nor attempt it to even try to come for him. Not even how they say, we used to call it uh, shooting the dozens or Joni. Now they be t talking us about shading and all that kind of stuff, that lingo. But honey, and shortly after that, she ended up getting fired, and I ain't heard from her since. I don't know if she's still in Atlanta, Georgia, or did she go back to Miami, Florida, or what? But it just is what it is. Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> but let's get on into this article about Lou Nail, okay? And then in Lease, and how they fussing on these streets out here. And neither one of them are taking junk. But I can say I think uh, Lunea won this round. And I don't think Nene want to mess with her. Some prob somebody probably told her, don't mess with no comedian, honey. They'll drag you all day long doing them streets. In them streets, you'll never get a, 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 a reprieve. You'll be begging her to stop. Don't don't, don't mess with Lunea, okay? And then if you ever want to make some dollars in the com comedian world, maybe want to have the opportunity to work with Eddie Murphy or... Uh, Cedric the Entertainer or somebody like that that's been out, they ain't gonna mess with you. They, ain't, they probably already got your number, Nene. Do not invite Nene to any of our parties to uh, have any opportunities of work coming her way. Honey, you don't mess with Lil Nail. She deep in them comedian streets, honey. But anyway, we go on to the article. It says uh, what well, was written by Char Patterson over there at the Jasmine brand. If you don't know who she is, just Google her and you'll find out. She's a big blogger. I don't know if she's in Atlanta or not, but um, either way, she's been out there for a long time on these uh, YouTube streets. And she has a very nice platform, so go check her out. Okay, and tell your girl sent her sent you all over to her page, all right? But anyway, the article title goes, Lunel, Lunel talks fallout with Nene Leaks. How you gonna come in this comedy club when there are comics who sacrifice their lives and just praying sin? Okay, I'm like, oh my goodness. All right, let's see what we talking about here. What is going on? Why is Nene sashaying her way over there? We'll see. Why don't we talk about it? I think I will, okay? It says, Lunel is still standing by her disagreement with Nene Leakes and the Real Housewives of Atlanta star's decision to do stand-up comedy. Y'all knew uh, Nene was getting into the comedy uh, side of acting or whatnot. I'm thinking 
she ain't gonna last because she's not funny, okay? Stay where you got your money made, where people know you at, and build from there. Now, Nene all the way around the world, and then so she gonna get her dollars wherever she can get them, just as long as it's legal. <laughs> But anyway, you remember back some time ago when she had this fallout with a ooh, or uh, the people were booing her when she was on stage trying to do her set, and uh, she was saying some Uber driver need to get something done bad to them, and it just blew up on social media. And you know, Nene was talking about real bad. She had to come off the the uh, tour, and I think she really was just supposed to be a host far as introducing the acts and she probably could tell a, a little jokey joker here and there uh prior to bringing the acts on stage i don't think she was a full-fledged person that was supposed to be you know doing stand-up uh comedy show acts uh for 15 or 20 minutes now because nene is not that funny <laughs> to me she's not funny at all only when she getting into harassing situations okay but um yeah, I remember that. I'm sure you all do, too. It's all on the social media blogging sites. But anyway, we go on. And Excuse me. I took some medication, so I'm getting sleepy. And I guess it's going to be my last video, but I had to do this one. I had to do this one, okay? So Nene is getting sold up, which I'm sure most of you all want to see her getting sold up. But sometimes Nene asks for it. And then you need to get your but beat down for, you know, a couple of inches because you don't went over your, uh, you went over the barrier. And so somebody had to cut you down short. So sometimes we all get that way sometimes. You know, we got to get towed out or, or, or to tow out uh, from people that we're doing crazy things to. And we shouldn't be. So anyway, um, it says, Lunell tells Fox Soul TV. She's interviewing about this whole mess. Because, uh, you know, like I said, Nene's known for the reality TV side, uh, amongst giving them the title stars, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but they're not like real actors, real entertainers that go out here and, and, uh, solidify themselves in one genre of, uh, a career. You know, Nene's just all over the place and she thinks she's this, that, and the third, or any real re TV reality star. They don't really have to do anything. They just are, are like scripted. Uh, to do a particular job a particular way and you just bring your own flavor to it. You know, pretty much like that versus somebody actually going to school, studying, acting, uh, and all the components that goes into it uh, to be great one day. And same thing with musicians. They have to go, uh, if they're playing instruments, they got to learn the instrument. They got to know when to do this, when to do that. Same thing with singing. You know, it's, a, it's an art form. Some people are just naturally blessed with it, but then some people have to you know, study it and practice it and, you know, repetitively and get it going on and on and on until they become, you know, great at their craft. But anyway, going back to this, it says uh, Lunell has an interview with uh, Fox Soul TV. She goes on to express this whole SHIT got blown up out of proportion. First of all, I would like to sit and explain to Nene that my or uh, what my thought pattern was and where I was coming from when I made the statement about how dare you or how dare she come into a comedy club when when the Williams tried to do the comedy side she hired a professional she hired me okay and she did it in a theater Wendy has a built-in audience she don't need to be in the improv she can do whatever she wants to. So she respected the art form and she did it the way or the right way. She went on into detail why she had a problem with Nene Lee's handling things. Okay. She said, how are you going to come in this comedy club when there are comics who sacrifice their lives to be in here and you just prance in? Uh-uh. Like when she did the Hollywood or Bravo show in New York, they didn't say nothing as theater people. But I'm sure they weren't excited about a reality star standing on the same boat that they sacrificed their life to be on. And just a side, but I guess they could say the same thing about Candy Burris, who came up in there, okay? Wanted to be a part of the theater, the theater. You know what I'm saying? When she did something with Chicago, I believe it was... Uh, uh, anyway, we're moving on for there. I got sidetracked. It says, Nene, Lisa, and Lunell have been feuding since May of 2016. Oh, my Lord. It, I thought it happened, what, 17, 18? Wait, it's 216? Ooh, that's been a long, long, drawn-out argument, okay? 
But anyway, it goes on to say when Lu when Lunell blasted the reality of the stars upcoming comedy show, she wrote, Hello, my good people. So I am playing this club this weekend right now. Um, this comedy club in Columbia, South Carolina, and on my way to the ladies' room, I see this. Now y'all take this any way you want to, bro. I have to dedicate I have dedicated 26 years of hard work to be able to call myself a comic. It is very, it is a very elite club that I'm extremely proud to belong to. Most of the successful comics you see on the grind today touring have been putting in hard work, missing their children's birthdays, graduations, track meets, etc. for years and have had to deal with and work through the guilt and pain of that of a day, on a daily basis. So I just find it ironic that these days it seems like any reality show celebrity or celebrity of any type who wants to pop up and call themselves a comic can. But a comic can't just pop up and easily, just as easily and get into a show. Anybody can just walk into our profession, grab the dollars, and when they get tired, they just stop and go back to the comfort of television. If I sound salty, it's because I am. Because <laughs> I was just going to say, Lunel, you kind of sound salty, baby. You kind of sound salty because you can't sashay your way up to a network. They know who you are and try to uh, pitch your brand, which is yourself, to get you a TV show. But I don't know. They say you got to do some strange things for some change. Okay, you got to do some things that, you know, don't go real well with the Lord and spirituality, but I'm just saying this is what they say. Okay, that was my sorrow. I'm moving back to the article. It said, um, if she sounds salty, she is. Uh, I am not afraid to speak my truth, but believe me, I am not alone in my thoughts. Well, anyway, I suppose that's the great thing about living in America. You can get money in whichever way you want to, so with that being said, I hope my good sister has a great weekend and a successful run, that is, until she gets bored or tired. All right, then Nene Leaks responds back, okay? Oh, Lord, interesting enough, Nene Leaks took her stand-up comedy short to come for, well, she cut her comedy short to come for Lunel a few days later. Okay, <laughs> Nene responds, so many mother efforts talking about is Nene a comedian uh, 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 in, in comedy. When did Nene become a comedian? I did not know Nene was a comedian. When did that itch become a comedian? No itch. Pay attention. Listen, I am not a mother ucking com comedian. I am a mother ucking hustler. For all of you mothers efforts, up in here who clearly do not understand like Portia. Now, I don't know how Portia, there we go. Can you always put Nene, Candy, Cynthia, Arrow all up in the bushes? Now we got Nene trying to have an argument with Lunel. She bringing poor Portia in here. When Portia ain't got nothing to do with the situation, Portia ain't never tried to be funny. Portia ain't never tried to get into the comedian world. But yeah, she gonna drag Portia in some of her on famous moments with the Underground Railroad she was looking for, as well as what else she said that was kind of crazy for all. I can't remember the other one. That one just was real legendary when she did that one of not connecting back a long time ago that her civil rights uh, granddaddy was trying to help, you know, get things going good for people of color. So, okay, Nene brought that mean like uh, Porsche was on the slow bus. Okay, so I'm like, Nene, fight your own battles. If you're dealing with Lunel, cut her down to size. Don't bring other people into into the process of you getting in a heated argument with Lunel. Porsche ain't got nothing to do with this. Porsche living her own life, doing what she got to do, and minding her own business. Now, Nene, stay on topic. Okay, stay on topic, Nene. I'm surprised at you. I'm disappointed. This, you ain't acting like the HBIC that I know. You ain't acting like the HBIC, honey. But anyway, when you're trying to go up against somebody like Lunell and she's very seasoned, I, no, I wouldn't be putting anybody in to fight me either. I'd just be standing up there. She would my ass. She just would my ass in the public eye. Okay, with all her uh, joan and she's going to give me back. Okay, just take it. You, you ask for it, so now you got to get your licking. But anyway, going back to the article, it says... Um, 
clearly do not understand like Portia like me tell you what that means. That means 24 hours a day, 365 days a week. I am getting it itch. Do not worry about me. Stay in your mother effing lane. Eat off your own plate. Stay out of my pocket. Stay out of my business. Don't worry about the okay up Nene doing. What Nene is doing is getting these mother fucking coins okay she also added everybody worried about nini thinking she's going to take them mother fucking spot itch i do not want your spot let us be very clear i do not want to be you do i look like i want to be you no it's not no day you will not see me walking down the street looking like cisco's auntie i am trying to be my be me and pay my mother fucking bills. Okay. And then at the end is asking, what are your thoughts about Lunel's remarks? Tell us in the comments. Well, I'm going to tell you mine. Lunel was very classy and not trashy and not even using no cussing words. You see, I couldn't constantly say these words because it's just too much. You could say maybe cuss words here and there. Okay. Depending on how passionate you are when you're talking about a situation or a subject matter, but just going. To a, uh, it seemed like Nene Phillips, she was in her feelings real bad for a real true comedian to come at her and say, baby, you you, you taking from us, okay? We don't come over there and take from you. You can't come take for us unless you get a pass, unless you pay us or you pay homage. Either or, we take the money and we take the, the, the begging and the pleading too. Either or, begging, pleading, or money. But you got to come straight. You got to come correct, okay? This is our lane. That over there is your lane, okay? Deal with it. Get with it. Get informed, okay? I can teach you. She said she taught Wendy Williams. She could teach you, Nene. Girl! But Nene was just doing too much extremely uh, cussing. Too, too much cussing going on in this here article. I'm sure they wrote it verbatim on how she said it, when she said it, and all that. But I was like, um, Luna just got to the point sized you up, knew what you were trying to do, and she was calling it. You know, other people um can sit and say things behind people back and, and talk about their life a dog, but when they come up in their face, oh, they smile like they ain't did, and then they say it nothing. But a true G, a true OG, gonna cut you down to size, tell you what's on their mind, how they feel about it, and they done. They want you to respond. So they can just take everything you said, twist it back, and throw it back in your face once again. Because they're gonna remind you who is the better person. Who And it could be a range of who was born first, all right? Meaning you don't been out here in these ways, in these streets. So you could be taught a few things if you pay homage to the cause. But, you know, she was just like, I ain't studying any. I'm going to break her down real quick, fast, and hurry. I'm going about my business, okay? And I'll speak for the ones that don't want to, you know, have their names attached or don't want to see like they, you know, uh, straddling to one side. Like they ain't in this because, you know, they may pass up an offer that Nene may have for them in the future. <laughs> She said, I ain't got time for Nene and her mess. She stay over there. I stay over here. But anytime she comes for the comedy world and she don't come correct, oh, I'm going to be on that. I'm going to be on that like white on rice. She going to know who is the real HBIC in the comedy world. Okay, she going to know. All right, but that's all I have for this video. I thought it was real cute. I was like, oh, uh Nene, -uh, ooh, she, she going out of her parameter. We don't want her to get sold up by no other we know we don't really want Monique to come get her now. Cause Monique knows she's funny too. But she would come get her sister if she had to sew her up and sell her right and, and let her fly right after that. But y'all get down in the comments and tell me what y'all thought about this video. What y'all thought about Nene going off on OG Lunel. Was she crazy? Was Nene drinking some? Was she smoking some? I don't know. Because I definitely wouldn't go up against somebody who had many, many years of experience on Joni. Folks, so how y'all see it now? Um, getting somebody together or shading somebody. <laughs> I would go up against Lunel, Cat Williams, and any other ones out there that really this is their profession. This is how they get down to make their money. Please, not me. Uh uh. I'd be like a baby sitting on the fetal position. Beat me, but don't kill me. Okay, beat me up. You know, I was wrong for coming in. <laughs>
trying to take your throat. I'm sorry. Don't talk about me no more. But anyway, that's all I had. I enjoyed talking with y'all today throughout this video. Please like and subscribe and share my videos. And again, you know I like it when you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So that's all I had, y'all. Peace and blessings. Good night.